in this morning's Business Insight, the Society of St. Vincent de Paul is naming its new 36,000 square foot West End Outreach Center after Don Nyer, former president of Al Nyer, and his late wife Phyllis. It's expected to be complete in the fall of 2019 and will allow St. Vincent de Paul to better serve residents in Cincinnati and Hamilton County who are struggling and in need. The executive director of the organization says the Nyer's ongoing support is an example of how to love, serve, and live out of faith. We are so pleased to have Don Nyer with us this morning along with St. Vincent de Paul Executive Director Mike Dunn. They are with Business Courier Editor Rob Dahmeyer in the studio. Gentlemen. Peg, thanks. Guys, thanks you both so much for well, being thank here. You. Rob, thank thanks you. Thanks for making the time. Uh, Mike, let's start with you. Uh, Peg mentioned that this is going to help you guys. Sure. Talk to us about, talk to the viewers about why it's going to help. Well, the Society of St. Vincent de Paul has been in the Cincinnati community. Believe it or not, we're celebrating our 150th anniversary in wow. 2019. So we've been here a long time. We've been working out of our outreach center in the West End since 1962. Wow. That building was built in the late 1800s. We are long, long, long overdue for additional space, more accessible space. Because of the size of the current facility, our neighbors who, who might need multiple services, whether it's our food pantry, our charitable pharmacy, help with social services, rent, utilities, different programs that we offer, they'll have to visit us multiple times during the course of the week. And that can be a great burden for a neighbor sure. just with, with single uh, moms who are working in transportation and child care. It's difficult to get to us multiple times in a week. We need a new home, uh, and this facility will allow us to offer all of our core services simultaneously, 8 to 4.30, Monday through Friday, 8 to noon on Saturday. So how did Don get involved? Well, Don and Phyllis Snyder, again, as we talked about the idea of this facility. It was just the new outreach center. We talked about the new outreach center for a period of time. Uh, we launched our campaign to, to start the fundraising back in the third quarter of 16. At that time, it was a $10 million campaign. It's now a $12 million campaign. Um, I'm <laughs> glad to say we are north of $10 million oh, right now. Uh, but we wanted to identify somebody that we would be extremely proud to be associated with, somebody that's meant a lot to this community, and somebody who kind of walks the walk. And we couldn't think of any better family than Don and Phyllis. So, Don, why, why is this so important to you to get involved in something like this? And this is not the only nonprofit that you've been involved in, right? No, it isn't. Uh, well, I have to give you a little background on myself. Uh, I was in the construction business for 45 years. Uh, I was a third generation, another fourth, depending upon who you ask, to, <laughs> run, to run the business. Um, and I retired 24 years ago. I have a big family. I have eight children. I have 32 grandchildren. Wow. I have 20 great-grandchildren and two more in the way. Wow. So I'm a very large family. But my whole life, and my parents, frankly, impressed upon me, we're here to serve, not to be served. And so uh, that's been a, and I have, when I preach my, my little religious beliefs, I say, I think Christ came to give us two messages, first to love and second to serve. If you do that well, and I just enjoy doing those, I, get, I feel a lot of benefit from doing it. And so when I retired 24 years ago, I was on 17, 13 nonprofit boards, including four school boards. Wow. Uh, but it was, it was, uh, was not St. Vincent de Paul, but it was, it was the uh, Easter Seals, it was uh, uh, Stepping Stone Center, just a lot of agencies such as that, where they're yeah. all serving the underprivileged, the handicapped in one form or another. So I've been involved with it forever. And, and then when Mike approached me, I it, was, it was a shock to me, frankly. It was a great honor, so I felt very honored to, and I've supported St. Vincent de Paul for many years. Right. So I mean, this is a this is a big deal. Whenever it, it, this is a tough time in general now for sure. for nonprofits, yeah. Mike. Maybe you can speak to this. Is that, you know, as the tax code has changed, as the type of people the, in the millennial generation doesn't give in quite the same ways as older generations. How important is it to, to, to get a gift like this? Well, the great news is this. We live in a community that is extraordinarily generous. So when we thought about coming out with this campaign, St. Vincent Paul doesn't do campaigns. We don't build buildings. That's right. not what we're about necessarily. But the need was such that we needed to do it. But we weren't sure how it would all go. Uh, so when we announced this campaign, you know, we, like everybody else, were like, we hope it all works out. Yeah. And again, the response has been just fantastic. And what we have found, the tagline of St. Vincent Paul is neighbors helping neighbors. Mm -hmm. And people in this community really want to be a part of that. 
And as we told the story in what this new facility will allow us to do, it's been very humbling, the response we've received from so many different people, including Don. Yeah, I'm sure. So last question for you. Uh, what's the timing? When are we going to see this new center? <laughs> Great question. Uh, we broke ground uh, back on October 26 uh, within about a 12-month build. So hopefully by uh, Thanksgiving next mm -hmm. this year, okay. uh, everything will be wrapped up. And if you drive by Bank and Winchell, you will, you will see, it. see it. Well, guys, thank you both so much well, for being you. here. Congratulations. Thank you for your gift. Yeah. To all of them in the community, appreciate you both being here. Thank Thanks you very much.